All right, Greeley, are you ready for the March real estate market update? If so, keep watching. It's all about local. Hi, my name is Jamie Eklund. I'm a local entrepreneur and business person here in Greeley. Now on this channel, we talk about everything Greeley related. And if you are as obsessed with Greeley as I am, then join the club. All right, so let's talk about the real estate market here in Greeley, Colorado. Now, this is going to be looking at what happened in March. Um, as of the recording of this video, it's the first week of April. And so this is what we've started to see. Now, things are heating up like it typically does this time of year. The grass starts getting green and people start thinking, hey, maybe we should buy a new house. Maybe we should think about moving. Um, that being said, we still aren't seeing near the heat that came from the market as we saw last year. So in February, we had 93 new listings. March, we had 142 new listings. So things are starting to go in a more positive direction when it comes to new listings. That being said, it's still not a lot of new listings. Now, when we look at uh, the homes actually for sale, and you look in February is 133 and March is 131. So what does that tell us? Well, we're getting more new listings, but the houses for sale are pretty much staying the same. That's telling us that the new listings that are coming on, for the most part, are also going under contract fairly quick. And that's really what I'm seeing as a real estate agent. If the house is priced correctly and in good shape, there's demand out there from buyers. And so buyers are going to get that under contract relatively quickly. And when I say relatively quickly, sometimes it's a few days, sometimes a few weeks, maybe even 30 days. I mean, that's actually not that long. It seems like a long time to wait because of the market we just came off of, but it really isn't that long to wait for a house to get under contract. The other thing we have seen is in February, the median sales price here in Greeley was 396. And in March, it bumped up to 405. Now, I usually don't like to look month to month when it comes to the median sales price because a big sale could really throw that uh, all out of whack anyways. But the reason I bring it up is this, that a lot of people are asking, what's the market doing? Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it staying flat? And I still think there's strength in this market. There's still buyer activity out there and there's not a lot of listings. And so the ones that do come on the market are going fairly quickly and usually for asking price and sometimes even a little above asking price. We're not seeing the real crazy offers of $50,000, $100,000 over asking. Um, hopefully those days are gone. Buyers are still putting in good offers. They, they're still asking for inspection. They're still doing things that uh, are smart. And so that's a good place for them to be at. Um, however, if the house is priced correctly, they still have to be fairly competitive and they have to go at, at least at asking and sometimes a little bit above asking. Now, if the house is overpriced, a lot of times we're seeing buyers come in and actually put in uh, lower offers and sometimes those sellers are getting penalized for uh, being a little bit too greedy and trying to price their, high, their house a little bit too high. Where a year ago, you could have gotten away with that today you're not really able to get away with that very easy, unless you have some way of justifying it. So those are kind of my perspectives on both the buyers and the sellers. Um, from a selling perspective, there's a lot of sellers right now that are holding tight. Either they're looking for that dream home and they're not willing to, to settle for just anything, or they're just waiting to see what the market does. They're waiting to see interest rates come back down. From the people I talk to in the interest rate world, it doesn't seem like interest rates are gonna go down significantly in the near future. There's lending programs that can kind of help with that. We're asking for concessions from a lot of uh, sellers which can buy down points. There's, there's ways we can help with that payment. However, there's still a lot of sellers that are just kind of like, hey, we're just gonna hold off, we're gonna wait and see what this market does. There's also a lot of sellers that are considering keeping their current house, buying another house and renting off their their existing place because they have a sub 3% uh, mortgage on that place and they don't want to get rid of it. 
And so there is a lot of discussion with those things um, in a lot of sellers right now. That being said, so a lot of sellers can't do that. And so they will still have to sell down the road. That being said, I think for the foreseeable future, we are looking at uh, a much slower market, much slower than we, we're used to, which is okay. It's good for the market to correct itself a little bit. I don't foresee prices going down uh, over the, overall. There will be some properties, some price points that will decrease a little bit, but overall, I still think there's enough strength in the market to keep the, the price point steady. I don't think it's going to appreciate substantially either. So I think we're in a good place. Now, hopefully this is helpful. I'm gonna to try to keep everybody updated to what the real estate market is doing here in Greeley. If you have comments or questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to answer any, any questions you may have.